Ooh, hello. Interesting, he's starting with turtle stance. Didn't want to give him a grass proc there. I am the weapon. This guy is so tanky. I don't know if I should be trading that much. Feels like he's just gonna heal up my damage. He's gonna be one of these Uters that just like ignores the matchup. Just tanks it out. Trying to get both of them with that shotgun. We should definitely go for a callback. Did what I could there, to be honest. Feels like their champs are just a little bit better early. Mostly because of the ghost, I think. They're just able to stick better. We can't cut them out if they both have ghost. And ignite as well. Oh my god, that E landed. Why is this impossible to kill? Holy moly, dude. Why is it that close? He's so tanky. This guy has to be running double armor in. He is insanely tanky for just having D shield. Let's go for the back here, though. I want to keep the wave pushing to me. This is good. Let's get another longsword, actually. We need damage. If I won't have a chance to kill this guy, we just have to get damage. He rushed a tabby, dude. I was not reborn in the depths. I merely refused to die. Let's see, 32 armor, that's giving him 20. So he is running double armor in. He's getting 12 armor from that. Zack will do a lot of damage if he ganks. He's really squishy against Zack right now. Well, hey, good thing I got a call, man. And I'm running conditioning over Wrath. So I'm building as much scaling as I can. Got my grinder. This would actually be a good time to gank.
I don't even know if it's worth it to dread. Yeah, I think it's a mistake to try to tread. I got TP though, this is fine. So close on the refillable. Not too big of a deal, though. If I can get him to like 50%, we can kill with Grinder, maybe. If I land the E. So many things have to line up in this lane, to be honest. Kind of tricky. It's really tricky. On the bright side, he's running out of mana pretty easily. He's going to lose a wave off that. I feel like I should just go steel caps. Because if we just play the scaling game, it's really good, right? An enemy has been slain. We're definitely going to outscale a tank U day. That's really not that scary come late game. Dude, that Nautilus skin looks crazy. Dude, this guy didn't even build any damage. Why is he doing so much damage? Problem is, he's got sustain. I don't. I mean, I got a little bit with my call, but not enough. Should have flashed a little bit sooner, but... Pretty good. I don't know if you're killing that guy, man. He is just insanely tanky. This is actually crazy, dude. He's so strong for how tanky he is. I hope he can push in that wave. Push the wave, dude. Please. Okay, maybe... Oh, I don't know about this. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna actually wait for him to recall so he loses the wave. Should be good. He's gonna lose another wave here. Let's see how much it actually matters. 
Could beat him to the level nine for sure. Idea actually. I got my conditioning proc now, too. I think he's actually doing a decent chunk of magic. Should be really helpful. Looks like he's rushing a heart steal. I got every single shotgun off twice. I literally can't do more than that, dude. I just can't. That's really insane. Got every single shotgun off twice. Echoing from the depths. Turret plating will fall soon. An ally has been slain. Chaos. He's gonna have heart steel on this back. I need to get Cleaver ASAP and then we maybe have a chance, but I don't know. Just feels like another champ diff, man, if I'm being honest. He's made so many mistakes in this lane too, like he literally lost a full wave and it just, it literally didn't matter at all. Free flash. The problem that I have is he still does really good damage. I can't do anything and he does good damage. Mordekaiser really likes to die me this game. I could try to go like Eclipse into Grudge. I think it's actually really good this game. Graves has armor from the E. They got Nautilus, Mord, Yudir. All these guys are going to tank up. It's a good armor pen game. I'll be kind of squishy. But hopefully you can do pretty good damage at least.
Nice, there we are. See you later, you day. Thank you for the shutdown, sir. Okay, it's playable with Cleaver, man. It's playable once we get Cleaver. Oh my gosh, now my whole team is dying. Literally whole team is dying now. I get so much gold on this play though. It's so good. If we didn't lose that team fight, man, we'd be in a pretty good spot, I feel. Dang, Chemtech Drake is so good for them. We have a lot of CC on this team comp. Operation shut down graves, I guess. Who's a good dragon? You are. <laughs> At least we're getting some objective bannies. Tried to go for the e buffer there, but I feel like he has backup right now. I don't really want to take that fight. Yeah, Mord's topside right now. Whoa, he jumped over. I think this is fightable. This should be good, if he can just live. Big fear. Holy damage. Dude, that's so much uter damage. With him going full tank. I guess he has a tie mat now, but the Q just does so much damage. I don't think I want to go grudge third. I think we need some armor, to be honest. You're not tanky and have low damage with this build? I think my damage is good. I'm just not super tanky. The damage is definitely good, though. Problem is, they're tanky with good damage. Yeah, see, my damage is definitely good. My damage is real good. So good. We take those. They kill the Mord, right? Nice. Dude, actually, they don't have Swain though. Could they do that with High Royalty? I think they could actually.
I can TP in 10. Oh, no. Not against misfortune, I guess. I mean, the team is flaming Swain, but I don't think he gets there in time, even if he does rotate. If he rotated, like, right away, like, if he saw the, if he saw that plane advance, he maybe could have. I mean, we should try to fight for this. It's going to be Sol if they get it. Up my E. Oh, wait, that's Nautilus. We killed this. Actually, Swain is back in. We'll stay. Alright, nice. They don't get soul. At least not yet. Dude, I want to go Grudge, but I don't know. I also kind of want to go Sterex, you know? I feel like between Cleaver and Eclipse, we have pretty good damage. Every Legendary is going to give me Armor Pen, too. I don't think I'm going to go Grudge. I want to, but it just feels, it feels too greedy with Eclipse. They have so much damage. Is there going to be a fight here? Wow, nice. We're winning the team fights. No way Eater stops us, right? I feel like our team skills better. That's what I'm definitely feeling now. That Uter build is so good in lane, but I feel like it doesn't do that much in team fights. He's just a meat shield. And at this point, he can't really meat shield too well. We got really good damage. What about Bork? I think Bork is going to be the same issue as Grudge, where I'm just too squishy. I think we're doing good damage with this. I'm just going to keep going tanky. The nice thing about Sterex is it gives me the best of both worlds. Oh my gosh, he went flying. The good old cringe bear. I'm gonna TP back in here. I wanna heal up. 
I still got my gauge. Dude, I couldn't get my E off before the ulti. Also, I guess my Sterex popped when we were kind of out of combat there. I think. I'll take some blame for that. I was trying to bait them a little bit. Dang, they get Chemtech Soul. I don't think that costs the game. I think we can still win team fights. Our team fight is so good, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can still win it. Unless MF gets a good ulti. That's the one thing we have to watch for. Moby White, thanks for the tier one sub, dude. Much appreciated. I think we should only fight. We don't really want to fight in the jungle against MF. Like, narrow jungle is the worst place to fight. He has vision. Thank God that Zack came back in, dude. Holy moly, that team fight. Try to win, dude. 40 seconds. We should be able to. Oh, yeah. We got a super wave. What a clutch team fight. Six point three K damage on the uh, Black Lever that game. Victory. That build was feeling really good, actually. Kind of a rocky game, but feels satisfying to win that one. Dude, I can't believe that lane phase against Uter though. That guy does way too much damage for being that tanky. But, uh, 46k damage. Wow, our Jin had the least damage on the team. ADC with the least damage. That's kind of weird. I guess their ADC kind of did, too. 
Everybody else doing the damage. 5,000 damage on my PTA that game. Holy moly. Yeah, we did have the uh, conditioning overgrowth too. That helps a lot when you go Eclipse build. That's why I wasn't like super squishy, even though I was building Eclipse. Breathe. 